We present Calvin, a benchmark for language condition policy learning for long horizon robot manipulation tasks. Despite tremendous progress in robot learning, most approaches that learn multiple skills rely on one-hot encodings or goal images to specify tasks at test time, which are not practical for non-expert users to instruct robots in everyday real-world settings. Clearly, one of the most intuitive and flexible ways for humans to communicate with robots is natural language. Using language to guide robots is not only useful for scaling task specification, but it also acts as a powerful implicit representation. For example, having learned to manipulate green blocks might help transferring zero shot to putting the block in an unseen green ball. In recent years, there has been a lot of improvement in the area of language conditioned robot manipulation. However, the lack of standardized benchmarks and algorithm implementations makes it difficult to compare approaches and to facilitate future research. To address this, we present Calvin, short for Composing Actions from Language and Vision, an open source simulated benchmark to learn long horizon language conditioned continuous control tasks. In this setting, a single agent must solve complex manipulation tasks by understanding a series of unconstrained language expressions in a row. To evaluate the agent's ability for long horizon planning, agents in this scenario are expected to be able to perform any combination of subtasks in any order. The aim of the Calvin benchmark is to evaluate the learning of long horizon language condition continuous control policies. It consists of three key components, which are the Calvin environment, the Calvin dataset, and the Calvin challenge. Calvin features four simulated environments with a large diversity so that it can be used for general playing as well as evaluating specific tasks. To better evaluate generalization capabilities of the learned language uh, groundings, all environments have different textures and all static elements are positioned differently. Calvin offers a wide range of sensors, RGB and depth images from both a fixed and a gripper camera, a vision-based tactile sensor and continuous proprioceptive state information. We believe that this flexible sensor suit will allow researchers to develop improved multimodal agents that can solve many tasks in real world settings. We defined 34 specific tasks that can be achieved in each one of the environments, such as opening a drawer, moving a sliding door, turning on a light, are manipulating three differently colored blocks. The environments automatically detect the task completion, which can be used as a sparse reward for goal condition reinforcement learning. Now let's talk about the Calvin dataset, which consists of 24 hours of human teleoperated play data, which corresponds to approximately uh, 2.4 million interaction steps. We automatically labeled 1% of the data set with over 400 diverse natural language instructions for 34 tasks, which amounts to 20,000 20, la labeled language sequences. Human teleoperated play data is intuitive, diverse, scalable, and relatively cheap to obtain. Unlike expert demonstrations in this setting, an operator is not constrained to a set of predefined tasks, but rather engages in behavior that satisfies their own curiosity. For the language annotations, um, how this is implemented in Calvin is that we sample random windows of around 64 frames from the recorded data set and evaluate if between the first and the last frame of the sequence, any task has been solved. If the task oracle informs us that, for example, the task uh, open a drawer was performed, we then sample from a predefined set of language instructions corresponding to that tasks. For example, grasp the drawer handle, then open it, or open the cabinet drawer, etc. And th this sequence will get then this language um, annotation as a label. Now let's talk about the Calvin challenge in which the agent's performance is evaluated on 1000 sequences of uh, five language instructions in a row. In this example, 
the agent successfully grasps and lifts the blue block, stores the grasp block in the sliding cabinet, presses the button to turn on the LED light, then takes the pink block and rotates it to the right, but then fails to lift the red block from the sliding cabinet. We offer three combinations of training and test environments with increasing difficulty. The easiest one is training in a single environment and evaluating the policy in the same environment. This corresponds to the setting of Lynch et al. The second combination is training in all four environments and evaluating the policy in one of them. Here, the policy has to generalize to multiple textures and different locations of the sliding door, button, and switch. To open the door for future development of agents that can generalize abstract concepts to unseen entities the same way humans do, we include a challenging zero-shot evaluation by training in three environments and evaluating the policy in the fourth unseen one. This is the hardest combination since the policy has never seen a test environment during training. However, all elements um, of the scene were pre present in different locations in the training environments and with different texture, obviously. We re-implemented um, multi-context uh, imitation learning by Lynch et al. and evaluated this as a baseline on all splits of the Calvin challenge with different input modalities. However, it shows a poor performance on the long horizon evaluation and the agent manages to complete all five instructions in a row in less than 1% of the cases. We provide an online leaderboard on the project page as an opportunity for researchers to showcase their state-of-the-art results on Calvin in the future. Additionally, we publish an improved approach in the paper what matters in language condition, robotic imitation learning over unstructured data, which achieves a promising 28.3% success rate on following five instructions in the single environment challenge. To conclude, Calvin is the first benchmark for language conditioned seven degree of freedom continuous control and offers different environments and modalities for maximum flexibility. We hope Calvin will open the door for future development of agents that can relate human language to their perception and action and generalize abstract concepts to unseen entities in the same way humans do. And please check our project page, calvin.cs.unifreiburg.de if you're interested in knowing more about this uh, benchmark. Thank you for your attention.